here by example four, you're probably figuring everything out. You drew your diagram already and you're starting to find angle relationships. We have parallel lines. You should be able to know that those two little arrows mean they're parallel. Our transversal should be making it another color cutting through those parallel lines right there. I need to calculate what X is. This angle, the only other angle I'm given is 73 degrees. What is the relationship between those two angles? Are they inside the parallel lines, both of them? No. Are they both exterior, outside the parallel lines? No. They are both on the same side below the transversal, but they're not both outside or both inside, so that's not helping me either. What is the relationship between those two angles? This is the hardest thing for students to see sometimes. We have one set of intersecting lines here and another set here. If it's hard to see that way, let me go ahead and highlight it. This is one set of intersecting lines, and here is the other set. Looking at the position of those intersecting lines and where X is in relation to that, X is here in the bottom left. In the yellow, 73 degrees is also in the bottom left. That means that those two angles are corresponding. They're in the same spot in both sets of intersecting lines. So what do we know about corresponding angles? Corresponding angles are congruent. So I know that X automatically has to equal 73 degrees. From there, we can look at our vertical angles. Our vertical angles are opposite. So opposite of 73 degrees is angle E, which is also 73 degrees. Opposite up here, B is 73 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that out so that we have a better look here. E equals 73 degrees and B equals 73 degrees. X is also 73 degrees. Now, the harder part is figuring out how are we going to calculate A or C or D. I need to always, always look at where is there a straight angle because straight angles are lines that are supplementary angles adding up to 180 degrees. So I see right here along this line, I know 73 degrees, but 73 degrees plus A is going to have to equal 180 degrees total. So I'm going to go ahead and write that equation. 73 plus A equals 180 degrees. Subtract 73 on both sides. Most of you can probably do this in your head. That is 107. So A actually equals 107 degrees. What corresponds with A? A is in the top of that pair of intersecting lines, and D is also in the top of the other set of intersecting lines. So D is also 107 degrees. I know that A and C are vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent because they're opposite. So that is also 107 degrees and we are done. Once again, we're starting to realize that we have a lot of the same repeating angles because that's what happens when we have parallel lines cut by a transversal.